the Secretary of State a few days ago tweeted, I hashtag stand with Ukraine. Has that ever worked at stopping an authoritarian regime from doing anything? A hashtag? I will have to say that unlike the last administration, we don't think Twitter is the only means of engaging or negotiating or discussing important topics. But it is important for us to convey uh, to the Ukrainian people who do view uh, commentary through a range of forums. I don't know how many are Fox News watchers, maybe some of them, um, and including social media, that we stand with them, we support them. Uh, and that includes in their efforts to protect the sovereignty of their country. Uh, go ahead. All right. So no matter what you think of Joe Biden's administration or Jen Psaki, you got to admit that was a perfect and very timely reply as if the Trump administration didn't just come to an end, as if we didn't have to endure a man in his 70s who would be up at all hours of the night tweeting God knows what, yelling into the Twitterverse for everyone to see, as if we didn't just get done with that, as if we didn't just get done with an administration that did everything by tweet. People would be fired and they didn't know it until they opened up their phones and saw that they were fired via Twitter along with the rest of the world. But, you know, let's uh, l let's look at what the Republican Party is really all about at this point in time. <laughs> Because these policies are the most America last policies. As a matter of fact, they do nothing but put China first. Um, Taylor, you can put up number two now. So we'll go ahead and address what these policies are that are so shocking to me. And now, the bigger issue with all of this, now we know that politics is often really just a big game, a big football game, my team versus your team. However, the polarization in this country is getting to a point to where the populace really can't be governed because it continues to go further to the right in the Republican Party that's completely diverged from reality in ways that they don't care about things like climate change. They don't care about things like the economy so long as they're sticking it to the libs. They'll stick it to themselves so long as they're sticking it to the libs. Donald Trump continues to be the most powerful figure in American politics. The Republican Party continues to have no one to replace him with. And because of that, he is coming back, as we always talk about. And even if he doesn't, let's say for some reason he does get arrested or for some reason he just doesn't run in 2020. Well, that puts the Republican Party in an even worse position, which makes them even more dangerous. So this is a very, very funny clapback, a very well-deserved clapback. However, it's not going to be funny for very much longer, you know, because the broader populace really is not interested in what the GOP is selling. The broader populace understands the times we live in and the broader populace understands what we need to do to make this country a better place to live for everybody. And so we're entering rough waters and you know that on TYT, we're going to keep you covered with everything.